The more sentient the being is, the greater the responsibility is upon humanity to be caring for it. And that is precisely the meaning in Genesis when we are told to go and assume our responsibility over the animal kingdom. That responsibility must be understood first and foremost in terms of compassion and care for animals. And there are therefore fundamental prohibitions under the category of preventing sa'ar bali chayim, suffering to animals, that are explicit in the Torah. For example, the prohibition to muzzle an ox when it is plowing so that the animal should be able to graze, or even of plowing with two different kinds of species where one might be strong and the other might be weak, or not slaughtering a mother and its child on the same day. So being compassionate towards animal life is not just a matter of being responsible for animal life, which we have very clearly laid down in the Torah and expounded by our sages, but it's a matter of imbuing ourselves with the right kind of values. If we are insensitive towards animal life, then we desensitize ourselves as human beings. What many people don't realize is the way that animals are being raised has changed radically in the last 20 years. It is no longer the flocks of our fathers. It's no longer even your great-grandmother taking her own chicken to the shoikit. Things have become mass-produced. They've become very oppressive, very cruel to these creatures. And so I think we have a mandate as Jews to find out how are we impacting the environment? How is our food being raised? How is our lifestyle connecting with the rest of the earth? And how can we walk in a gentle, Torah-oriented way on this planet to bring greater harmony between us as Jews, Jews and non-Jews, and all of humanity with the other creatures that Hashem has made and put here along with us.